Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Microsoft's new Security Essentials, their free antivirus and anti-spyware software. First you've got to navigate in Internet Explorer. I could not get this to download in any other browser except Internet Explorer. And go to Microsoft.com slash security. Once you're here, you're going to see under Consumers, Get Security Essentials here, or you can click Products and Scans here. Either link is going to get you to the same place. You'll end up at this website, which currently is Microsoft.com slash security underscore essentials. Just click the big blue Download Now button. You want to save the download. Once the download finishes, you'll see this icon on your desktop or whatever folder you saved it in. Just double click on it. It's going to ask you, do you want to run? You're going to say yes. And then it's going to say welcome to. You're going to click next. You accept. You can read that if you want to. Click validate. They always want to make sure that you're using a validated copy, legal copy of Windows Vista. You do want to make sure that you've removed any other anti virus software like AVG or Avast or anything else you might be using, Norton, McAfee, get that off there before you install this. The download is less than 5 megabytes and, and the installation takes under 5 minutes to do, well under 5 minutes to do. And you can tell it whether or not you want to scan. I'm not going to do that currently. Once it finishes, it's going to go out and immediately update the definitions for the anti-spyware and the antivirus. Once the update is finished, you'll see that where it says virus and spyware definitions are up to date. Then you know you're in good shape. It tells you what time you actually installed those as well. The definitions and updates are the most important part of any security software because that tells the product what to look for. So I'm going to close that window temporarily and you'll see on the desktop we have a new icon that says Microsoft Security Essentials. It has a little castle there with a blue flag. And in the lower right hand corner in your system tray, if that's where your tray is, you now have a new icon there, a little green icon with a castle. And that is the new Microsoft Security Essentials. If I double click that, it brings back up the little control panel where it tells me everything is good. I have real-time protection. I'm up to date. It tells me when the next scan will be. I can change the scan schedule if that one does not work for you. You can change the scan from a quick scan to a full scan if you'd like. Under default actions, what I'd recommend doing here is coming over and saying always remove any kind of alerts that it finds on the severe and the high alert mediums and low you probably want to look at those in case it has any false positives then click save and then as you start to use the product you click history here and you'll be able to see any of the items that it has found over the course of the time it has been installed on your system and then you can delete your history from here as well as it builds up so that's how you install the Microsoft Security Essentials the reviews I've read on it are very positive and say that it does do a good job of protecting your PC I'm going to leave this on and in about a month or so I'll hope to give you another update on how I'm liking this versus my other recommendations of AVG and Avast.